to the members of Bellacaroli's gym. And our leader after the first rotation, Brandy Johnson on the uneven bars where she had problems at the meet in March of the American Cup. This is the event that started Brandy's demise in the American Cup. And it started with this skill, a reverse hack. Very well done. Now she's changed her routine since the American Cup. She's omitted one of her releases, opted for a nice, safe, clean routine. Full pirouette giant. Oh, she almost didn't make it over there. A double tuck dismount. So essentially, you feel it was a safe one, but not a spectacular routine. Basically, Brandy's routine had all of the required moves, and it was well done, but nothing really extraordinary. I think it'll be enough to hold her in the all-around. So she didn't take any chances on the uneven bars. Let's find out if she maintains her lofty position. For their completion of the second rotation on the uneven bars. Speaking of lofty positions, Brandy really takes some air on this reverse hex. She has one of the biggest reverse hex in the competition. Good form displayed, but as she proceeds through this routine, there are no major flaws, but she's not at the same time taking any chances to gain that extra tenth or two tenths of a point. That's right, Joel. I think it'll be enough to hold her in her position, but she won't pick up anything. Brandy may be thinking about the last 12 months where she's had some serious problems on this event, both in the American Cup and the World Championships. So she's opting to play it safe. Here's a double tuck dismount, nice and clean, but again, not spectacular. So Brandy Johnson trying to hold off the challenge of Kim Zemeskel, waiting for her score on the uneven bars. And a 9-5. Well, basically what you would expect from a routine where she played it safe. So there's no doubt Zemeskel has started to close 